Welcome back to my exhaust fan controller project series. In this video, I'm going to build the fan controller on a 4cm by 6cm perf board. I decided to build a mock-up of my system in Circuit Maker in order to place the components more optimally. Some of these components already existed in the system and others I had to create. I'm not going to go into details on exactly how to do all of this today, but I wanted to show my process here. As you can see, I've added a connector for the offboard temperature sensor. I've also added a connector for the power supply. This is a potentiometer. Another offboard connector for the fan. They just so happened to have the exact op amp that I needed. They didn't have an LM34 in the system, so I used a device with the same package. For the LM34, pin 1 is our power supply, pin 2 is the temperature output, and then pin 3 is ground. Once I built the circuit here, I added a PCB. And then I placed and routed components. I tried multiple different ways of placing all of my components, and this was my favorite. I wanted to have all of my connectors along one side of the board so that I could have all my wires running in one direction. After that, I wanted to simplify the routing as much as possible. You'll see in the assembly video that I actually didn't have room to place everything the way it is in here. This potentiometer stayed pretty much here, but the one on the top didn't fit on the end of the board, so I had to move it over to the right, so it actually ended up closer to here. Other than that, the only thing that's missing from this is my switch. I wasn't sure if I was going to include it in this build, but I ended up adding it at the end. Here I'm pulling a fan connector off an old motherboard. With the exception of the temperature sensors and the op amp, all of the components I'm using were either in my parts bin or extracted from old electronics. I like to draw my circuit on a piece of paper so I can mark off connections and components as I add them to the board. I often will hold a component on the board with my hand just to get one pin soldered down. If you try this method, be careful not to touch the pin you're soldering. Having solder already on the tip of the iron isn't a good way to actually solder a component, but it's an easy way to tack down a part like I'm doing here. I'll come back later and fix the solder joint. I decided to start by putting all my connectors on one edge of the board, but the power connector I'm using has pins that are too large to fit through my perf board. A small drill bit made for a quick fix for that. I really like these green terminal blocks for little projects like this. You could instead just solder your wires directly to the board, but since I had these, I thought I'd put them to use. If you're looking to get some similar connectors, they're usually called wire to board screw type terminal blocks or fixed terminal blocks. There are a lot of different types of terminal blocks out there, so be careful to check ratings and dimensions before you order anything. Now that I have the connectors on the board, I'll start adding components, working my way from the connectors towards the other side of the board. I used a 1N4001 from a diode kit I had, but you can probably use just about any diode for this as long as it can support the reverse voltage from the supply. I usually pick one with double the supply I'm using just to be safe. On this type of prototype board, I like to use the legs of my components like traces to connect together components as I go.
Right here is when I realized I had hooked up the wrong pin of the fan connector to 12 volts the night before.
between this clip and the last one, I did a little bit of testing off camera and I found out that I made that mistake with connecting my drains to power instead of ground. This last part is just me fixing that issue. Here I just do a quick check to make sure I didn't short the supply to ground before starting my testing. In my next video I'll be verifying that the circuit does what it's supposed to do with a few tests. Thanks for watching.